What's good, y'all? Listen, look, I, I'm mad I even gotta say this. Why are we acting like this is not? It is. Don't get your fucking There's nothing wrong with hate. You've got to hate some things with a passion and destruction. They must dislike and hate with a passion. What's up, y'all? It's your girl ZZ back with another video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on my notifications bell, get it on a thumbs up, share this, all that, all that, all that, and please, please, baby. Don't forget to follow me on the social media. Is it on other? I don't. We're not gonna go through it. Follow me on Instagram, <laughs> Twitter, or X. I do have it muted, um, because I'm not getting copyrighted. Now, first things first. I gotta point out the braids. Eat, baby. I ain't no hater. The braids is eating. <laughs> you go, girl. They look good. All right. So right now, sister is vibing. Like I said, peep this corner right here. It's gonna be this brother right over here in this hat. Okay. All right. So he just noticed. I don't know if y'all see his face, but I don't know what he said. I don't know what he said, but you can see he's like, oh, like she dancing. The, like, it's like it's a good feeling. Whatever he's excited about, he noticed about her. He's like, hey, it's like one of them. OK, OK, clearly good vibes. OK, so he tapped her. He's like high five. She ignores him. He tapped her right there, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Let me see. It looks like he tapped her. Even if he didn't tap her, he definitely speaking probably loud enough for her to hear. You know, I ain't going to play it. Um, But he's literally right there beside her. Anyway, in the hell you won't hear this man saying, hey, young lady, go ahead. Excuse me, something. So now he's still trying to get her attention. And now she gets the eye roll. He's still trying to get her attention. And now she hitting, she hitting him with the, with the side eye. Okay, see, I don't like that. I don't like, and the brother is still back here like, hey. And she's continuing dancing, all right? Let's skip forward a little bit. I think he goes and gives the cameraman a high five. Now he's standing in front of her. Oh, poor thing. Brother, you should have just walked away. This woman clearly don't want no parts. Brother, walk away. Um, But as you can see, he's still standing like, all right, moment's over, buddy. All right, brother, you just got to keep it pushing, brother. It ain't going to happen. All right, so she's still going. Okay, cool. Here's my issue. I see this happen way too often with young black women. And their encounters with anyone, in particular, though, men. And I'm not even just, matter of fact, let me not, I was about to say, I'm not going to even just say black men, but uh, I am going to just, I'm going I'm to spec, I'm going to bring it down to black men because I think with other men, with other races of men, it's a little bit different. All right. But I, the young black women, this these newer young black women, the new generation, I'm thinking, honestly, 30 and under. A lot of us do not understand, or I'm not going to say do not understand, but how can I put this? A lot of us, even if we aren't, we come off very rude, very rude. A lot of us are not very good conversationalists or not even, here's it, here it is. A lot of us are not friendly or we don't appear to be friendly, even if we are. We might have mean mugs. We might be like this girl. Maybe after, maybe this girl has had a couple of drinks. And, you know, maybe a, a few moments before this, or maybe she ain't had no drinks. But maybe a few minutes before this, she was just talking to two, three other people about a song or about the, the, the dance she doing or whatever the case may be. Maybe she was being more sociable before this moment or after. Okay, this is not a determining factor. But I'm saying this right here is a prime example of how black women come off to a lot of people and to black men in particular. You come off very rude, childish, and unfriendly because that's exactly what this is. A brother can't get a high five. You can, not even, it's not even that he can't get a high five. He can't even get acknowledgement. This is an older black man. We didn't even talk about a young man who tried to smack. This is clearly an older black man who's just on some uncle or some daughter type shit. Like, hey, can I get a high five? Just that's it. That's the easy high five, thanks. Or, no, I'm good. And keep dancing. Now, if he would have denied it after she said, no, I'm good, all right, whatever. But this brother is clearly just, well, I'm not going to say clearly because we don't know the context. What if he's a creep and she was just trying to ignore him because he was creeping on all night and then he didn't, they got a video of this nigga creeping and then she trying to ignore him and she been ignoring him all night. I don't know. It's a possibility. But going on <laughs> what we have right here, from what we can see <clears throat> and what it seems like, it's just the brother just trying to, he just sees her doing something that he likes for whatever reason and wants to give her a little little credit for it. That's all. You know, was he a little pressed? Absolutely. I, I, standing there in the face with the high five was crazy, but he also is older. Older people, their social uh, uh, 
standards are a little bit different in the house. Okay, older people can do awkward shit like that and get away with it because that, you know, they they from a different time. <laughs> yeah, this is a major problem that I see with a lot of younger black women. I mean, I'm like I said, I said 30 and under, but I'm going to say it really gets worse with 25 and under. I'm going to be real. Because a lot of these women, although, like I said, unfriendly and, and just they come off as not kind, but a lot of the young ones, they also are just childish. I mean, of course, you 25, you 21, whatever. Of course, you're going to be some sort of aspect childish. But a lot of our women in general are emotionally underdeveloped, all right? A lot of us, I'm talking about older, younger, everything between, we're all have been emotionally, are emotionally underdeveloped from what I have observed. And of course, that is a side effect of white supremacy. Um, But because of that, we have interactions like this, where it's like, this is just a simple, like a grown ass woman would be like, sir, I'm good. Like, why am I about to sit here and just be like, Ugh. like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm good, sir. You know, and then like, that's like, that's it. Like, it's really, it's really just that simple. I don't know. It, I ain't gonna go too much further into it, but that just put a bad taste in my mouth. I'm like, girl, all you had to do was, was say, brother, I'm good, or give me a high five and keep pushing. Like, okay. y'all, please get more friendly, more kind, all right? So especially to the brothers. That's your reflection. Act like it. Hang on. My baby daddy really funny. Y'all know he Asian, whatever. Every year for Nas' birthday, we do it big. You know what I'm saying? We always come together and we do something big. So his first year we did anime. You know what I'm saying? It was cute. He was Naruto. I don't know who I was. I was some. The next year we did cars, but we did Talladega Nights because who was we going to be cars? So boom, this year I'm like, who should we do? What does Nas really like right now? You know, he like dinosaurs. And I'm like, you know what? Nas likes Tarzan. We should do Tarzan thing. He like, yeah, Nas can be Tarzan and you could be the mom. And I ain't even think about it. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I'm going to be Jane. And he like, nah, you should be the mom. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. And then I sat back and fucking realized that's a goddamn monkey. I ain't gonna lie, he kind of ate my ass the fuck up. Oh, he kind of insulted you. He kind of called you a racial slur. He kind of showed his anti-blackness he kind of showed that he got some racist tendencies a little bit of a racist mentality huh and, you know he's raising a black man interesting while his black mother is on the internet making light of the anti-black racism his father is projecting onto his mother wow black women what the hell is this see this is oh lord Lord Jesus, I know the bed winches. I mean, I guess she, she he ain't white, so I guess he ain't a bed winch. It's more like a I don't know what's the what's the Asian version of a bed winch, like a a, a, a bed winch with soy sauce, a bed winch with a little wasabi. I don't know. I don't know. Look, all I'm saying is <laughs> black women. I I am so tired of seeing black women who are in interracial relationships and just finds the simplest and just most let me say um i'm gonna go with simplest it's okay i'm gonna just say it, they find the most simplest ways and here it is most passive aggressive ways as well to insult themselves and their children why would the, why in the hell would you get up on this internet? And it's funny, it's not funny, but when I heard the joke, when I heard her talking, when she went immediately when he said uh Tarzan, I'm thinking, well, shit, who the fuck? Ain't no black people in that movie. I'm like, who the fuck is so I already knew my mind is already going, she will end up being one of the monkeys. Ain't no fucking black people in Tarzan. Ain't even no Asians. But guess who closest to the white? To white. The Asian. So you know who he gonna be? The mother, the white man, whoever, whatever white character. He'd be the grandfather of Jane. I know he, he was what's called. That's probably who, who he'll be. Like, it's so sick seeing this uh, mentality being passed off as, oh, it's just a joke. Oh, look, we should be able to poke at each other's cultures because we're in a racial. It's not racist. Look, he's he had a baby with a black woman. Look, he's not, he's not can he be racist? Oh, it was just a joke. What's the big deal? It's like, you really try, they really try to fight their hardest to cover up the anti-blackness, the self-hatred within themselves, um, and the overall um uh, dynamic of a relationship that uh, the sickness of the dynamics of the relationship that they're in 
Like they will try to put a, a veil on it. They will try to make put some sugar on it to make it look sweet. They will try to just doll it up, just like she did with this joke. Oh yeah, you know he really ate me up. <laughs> I'm gonna be the mom. <laughs> he is so stupid. The mom is a fucking monkey. Like he's stupid. He ate me up with that one. It's like, girl, what the fuck are you? Do you understand that your son? will see this. It's on the internet. Do you understand that your son will hear these things before he's at an age where he can develop and understand that uh, what it, even if his father isn't racist, it doesn't mean it. Before he can even get, get to that point to get that fake ass understanding because it's not real. He will be a child. He is a child. He will be four, five, six, seven, ten, nine years old and hearing his father make little snide jokes about his black mother and how she looks like a fucking monkey. And oh no, it's just a joke. Oh, it's just a joke. Hey, look, we're gonna I poke I poke jokes at him. Look, he looked like Jackie Chan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, they just love, they just love chopsticks. Hey, look, and you see, we we he poke at my culture. I poke at his. You see, son, it's just the same. That son will grow up and I and will not identify as a black man. He will grow up and not want to be with a black woman. He will grow up and not want to re- Create himself. He won't want to procreate with a black woman to have someone that looks like his mom or to bring uh, more of his mother's lineage into his bloodline. He wouldn't want to do that because his mind would have already been programmed to align with white supremacy, which his father is already, it will, even, even if it's unknowing, um, his father will guide him right into it. And the mother will too, because she thinks it's just a joke. She thinks it's just funny. <laughs> He just ate me up with that. He's called me a fucking gorilla, like you know, like we don't know the history behind fucking black people being mon called monkeys and treated like fucking animals. We we just go act like there ain't nobody but deal, son. Hey, it was a joke. Get it together. This shit is delusional. It's not funny at all. Please. Moving on. Uh, last video. <laughs> um, I gotta show this one before I actually show the video I'm I'm really reacting to. So this is a video of a fan on stage, okay? Um, apparently this is a popular, I want to say reggae. I may be mistaken, maybe like an African artist, actually. But um, very popular artist. She, uh, he calls her on stage, and as you can see, they're dancing. You know, she's swaying. Um, it gets to the point, though, where they bring a veil down, and she get a little, she, oh Christ, get a little heated up, as y'all can see. Hold up, I'm going to let it play a little bit further, but it's getting a little... Get a little unchy is getting a little. He taking the shirt off. She got the body roll. And, oh, I'm gonna go to the next slide. Oh, she got the bending over. He got the tapping. I right, get it. I don't need to see no more. Hey, greatness, let's take a look. She's basically been blowing up on the internet. That video has been going viral. The guy, the boyfriend that, that was with her in the audience, um, has has been going viral as well. Did I mention that? Did I mention her boyfriend was in the crowd? That's that's what I wanted to start with. My bad if I didn't. I feel like I didn't say that. But her boyfriend was in the crowd watching as all this was going on on stage. Um, so yeah, people find out how they both were. They both went viral, and now she has an interview out, basically talking about the backlash, talking about what happened afterwards. At this point, um, I didn't watch this whole thing, but I know they broke up. Um, it was rumors on the internet saying that he walked away from her as a video of him walking away from her. That's not true. He had they actually end up leaving together. Um, they broke up afterwards. Um, and I, I think that's really the only thing that matters. But let's get into it. I'm going to ask this question and I want you to answer as liberally as you can. Would you say that you respected him as your boyfriend? And the reason why I'm going to ask, the reason why I'm asking this question is because there's a, been a lot of conversation about if that's your boyfriend, for you to go on stage, and this is something that I myself has, have thought, if for you to go on stage while your boyfriend's there, that's not something that a lot of people would see as respectful. Talk us through that. Yeah, um, I do and I did respect him a lot, but I know the way I danced on stage might have looked like I don't respect him at all, mm -hmm. but I have a lot of respect for him. But I, I do understand why people would think what I did was disrespectful. Did you speak? Girl, what you did was disrespectful and it showed that you clearly a lack of respect for him. So what she should have said was she asked her, hey, do you think you respected your boyfriend? Actually, you know what? At the time, I thought I did respect him. But in retrospect at this moment, you know, after everything that has happened and really examining my uh, behavior in that moment, that was highly disrespectful and 
I came to the conclusion that there's no way I could have actually respected him and done that. So no, I I didn't respect him. I feel like I have a I've gained more res respect for him now. That's your man. You're his woman. Y'all going home together. He brought you here. Like you gonna get up on stage with another man in front of thousands of people at that. But you voluntarily get up on stage. And let me say this. Um, another part of it is the brother did allow her to go because she said they had a conversation. And from her, from what she says. He was fine with her going up stage. So that kind of tells me a little sum about him too. Cause I'm like, brother, why in the hell would you want your sister going up on stage with a with a man who you know is going to get up there and like try to seduce her? Why would you volunteer your woman to do that? Especially when you know that this man is somebody that your woman actually kind of so I already see that the, there was definitely some issues going on with the brother for sure. That doesn't take away from her actions. That doesn't take away from the fact the wronging, I mean the wrongness um of what she did all right it doesn't justify anything and we can't put these see that's the difference between the way it uh a lot of times the way women and men and uh, women and men think out things we like to add cushion to our bullshit we like to add cushion to make us feel better well no i respected him but um no i respect him it's just i just i, I know i did something disrespectful no baby it was just disrespectful and you clearly did not have respect for him because you went up there and embarrassed the hell out that man. If you not to get up on the internet to have this opportunity and get up on here and really and fully take accountability and fully apologize to him. I don't know. I ain't watching this whole book. I really don't care that much to watch all this. I just seen this clip and they want to react to it. But if you do not get up there and clearly apologize, hold yourself accountable, tell other women how wrong this was, how this made you feel the shame in it and how to do better in respecting your man. That is something I would have loved to see. But you get up here on this bullshit. I want some, yeah, I respected him. But, you know, <laughs> you know, he said I could do it. <laughs> you know, he left with me. And then she asked her, not too long after after this, she asked her, like, yeah, um, did y'all have a conversation after everything happened? And she's like, yeah, yeah, we had a conversation. But that, that, that conversation was private. I don't want to talk about it. So you don't want to talk about the real, you don't want to talk about the real shit? You don't want to, you want to get up here and, and try to make it seem, try to give us context and make you seem like you're not that bad of a person, but you don't want to say what was, what the brother, you know what I'm saying? How he really felt or what you said to him. Did you hold yourself accountable? Did you apologize to, you know, did well, you don't want to give us the real and probably because she really didn't hold her account, hold herself accountable. Probably because he was standing on business and he was like, it's you, it's you. like, you really got me fucked up on these streets. <laughs> You really got it. Like, you really think I'm one of them. I'm about to show you something different. So, um, you know, whatever the case. But look, I, like I said, I don't even care that much. I just wanted to react to that part because that was egregious. And I keep seeing it pop my timeline. Everybody is uh, uh, talking about this damn viral video. Okay. But nonetheless, I do appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Leave your thoughts below. Please leave your thoughts below. It helps with the algorithm. Like the video. Share the video. All that, all that, all that. Please don't forget to follow me. Or well, follow me, whatever. Again, and I will see y'all on the next on the next one. I appreciate you. Peace. We do not play by our green. You fuck with the team. Might find your west in the creek. Crossing our teams.